ये हेक्सागनल लैमिना ऑफ 25 एमएम साइड्स रेस्ट ऑन वन ऑफ इट्स कॉर्नर्स ऑन हीचपी द लैमिना मेक्स 45 डिग्रीज टू हीचपी and the diagonal passing through the corner on which it rests appears to be inclined at 30 degrees to VP. Draw its projections. So, since it is rest, a lamina is resting on one of its corners on HP, so obviously we have to start from the horizontal plane. We have to look from the top, when it look from the top view, we can see a hexagonal surface. And when you look from the front view, the surface is perpendicular to VP, so we are getting a line in the front view. And all the sides are resting on HP, so obviously the sides are parallel to HP. Therefore, we can see the true shape in the horizontal plane. It, seems it is one of its corners on HP, so you have to place the lamina in such a manner that the end points of the lamina should be a corner that is possible only when the two sides of the hexagonal surface has to be parallel to VP. So when you look from the, now you mark the points A, B, C, D, E, F. So when you look from the front view, A, A, A B, C, D is near to the observer. So A dash, B dash, C dash and D dash are visible and E and F is away from the observer, so E dash and F dash is invisible. And this is the 3D initial position, but when you are doing it on orthographic view, you can see hexagonal surface on the horizontal plane of A, B, C, D, E, F, and this is the surface which is parallel to HP. Since it is parallel to HP, we can see the uh, true shape in the horizontal plane. And when you look from the front view, it is perpendicular to VP. So obviously you are going to get a line in the front view. And it says the next, the lamina makes an angle of 45 degree with respect to HP. So he has given the surface inclination with respect to HP. So here, once you look from the front view, the surface inclination can be seen. Wherein the, it is inclined at 45 degrees to HP. So the inclination of that will going to be, that image will going to be seen on the vertical plane, which will be at an angle of 45 degrees since the surface is perpendicular to VP so so that we can get a line in the front view so again we can see a dash b dash c dash d dash is visible and d dash and f dash are invisible because when you look from the front view a b c d is near to the observer so it is visible and e dash and f dash is invisible so this is how initially when the surface is parallel to HP then the same hexagonal lamina is rotated such that it is resting on one of its corners. The corner point which what we are considering is A. So when you look from the front view, A dash is on XY line. So this is on the orthographic view. You can see here, A dash is on the horizontal plane and the surface makes an angle of 45 degrees to HP and its inclination is seen in the vertical plane. The vertical plane is above XY line. So you have the 45 degree line here. And when you look from the top view, draw draw a uh, you can see the hexagonal surface once the surface is inclined to hp the diagonal passing through the lamina on the diagonal passing through the corner on which the lamina rests is going to make an apparent inclination apparent length because the diagonal is inclined to hp so you're going to see the apparent length in the hp the diagonal is a dash d dash and here ad will be in apparent length the diagonal passing through the corner on which it rests appears to be inclined to VP at 30 degrees. Since he says it is appears to be inclined, so naturally it will going to be the apparent length. So in the second position top view, you can see the diagonal is apparent length because when the surface is inclined, so obviously the diagonal will also be inclined. So naturally you are going to get the apparent length. Now the inclination given is also apparent inclination. So inclination with respect to VP is seen in the horizontal plane. You can see it is on the horizontal plane, that inclination. And is rotated such that the, the diagonal AD is inclined to VP at 30 degrees. And when it is projected onto the front view, you are going to see this particular, will go into the front view as shown in this, in the three dimension. Now here, in the 
2D analysis also we can see that the top view of the diagonal here it is in apparent land and since he has given the apparent declination so we rewrite the second position top view such that it is inclined at 30 degrees to VP and when you look from the front view the image will going to be shown here on the vertical plane so that you are going to get the final sketch. So this is how we will be able to do the analysis part of the hexagonal lamina. Now we are going to write the solution for the 2D analysis. So first we are going to draw the XY line and mark VP and HP. So a hexagonal lamina of 25 mm side resting on one of its corners on HP is the initial condition since he says one of the since it is resting on HP so obviously we have to start from HP. So the lamina is placed in such a manner that the two sides of the hexagon should be parallel to VP. So first we have to draw by using the compass first to draw the horizontal line by using the compass with this take any point on this horizontal line and draw a circle of radius 25 mm so that it will go into cuts the horizontal line at two points one is at this point you mark that point as A and the other point you mark that point as D then with A as center take the radius of 25 and cut an arc on the circumference of circle on the top side and also on the bottom side you mark that point as B and F. Similarly, with D as center, again take the radius of 25, cut an arc on the bottom side and also on the top side so that you are going to get C and E. Mark those points as E and E and mark this point as D. Then join A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, E to F and F to A with a dark line. So this will going to be a hexagonal surface and draw a vertical projector from A, B and F, C and E and D to the XY line such that all the sides are resting on HP. So you mark them. So when you look from the front view, A dash, B dash, C dash and D dash all are near to the observer so it is visible. And when you look from the front view again, E and F are away from the observer so E dash and F dash will go to be in bracket. So it is invisible. So since all the sides are resting on HP, obviously it will be parallel to HP. So you can see this is the parallel to HP. So when you look from the front view, since the surface is perpendicular to VP, so you are getting a line in the front view. Now, the hexagonal lamina resting on one of its corners on HP. So here we have two endpoints and also here one end point A dash is also on the corner and D dash is also on the corner. So here you can rest it on A dash. If you are resting on A dash, you rotate in counterclockwise direction. If you are rotate, if you are resting on D dash, then you have to rotate in clockwise. So you are going to consider a corner point which is on A dash at some, some distance from the first position front view and mark that point as A dash. Then by using a protractor, you measure an angle of 45 degrees and draw an inclined line. Then measure the length from A dash to D dash by using the compass with A dash as center, cut an arc on this inclined line and mark that point as D dash. Then join A dash to D dash with a dark line. Similarly, you measure the length from A dash to C dash with A dash as center, cut an arc on here. You are going to get this point as C dash and D dash. Similarly, with A dash as center, take the radius of A dash, B dash, with A dash as center, cut an arc on this to mark this point as B dash and F dash. Then draw a vertical projector from A dash and draw a horizontal projector from A to intersect at this point and mark that point as A. Similarly, draw a vertical projector from B dash and F dash and draw a horizontal projector from B and F to intersect at these two points which will be B and F. Similarly, draw a vertical projector from C dash and E dash. Draw a horizontal projector from C and E to intersect at this point C and E. Similarly, draw a vertical projector from D dash and draw a horizontal projector from D to intersect at this point. You want to mark that point as D. Then join A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, E to F and F to A with a dark line. So which will go on to be the hexagonal surface. In the second position top view. 
Now once the surface is inclined to HP at 45 degrees, the diagonal passing through the corner on which the lamina rests is also on the surface. Therefore, this diagonal will going to be inclined to HP. Once the diagonal is inclined to HP, in the top view, the diagonal will going to become apparent length. Now, the diagonal passing through the corner on which the lamina rests appears to be inclined to VP at 30 degrees. Since he has given it as appears, so obviously he has given the apparent inclination. And here, in the second position top view, the diagonal A dash AD will be in apparent length because the diagonal is inclined to HP in the front view, that is A dash D dash. So the diagonal passing through the corner on which the lamina rests is A dash is the one which is on which the lamina rests. The diagonal passing through the A dash is AD. This is AD. This is the diagonal. So it up, it is in the apparent length. So obviously here also it is in given in apparent inclination. So rewrite the same sketch by an angle by rotating at an angle of 30 degrees here. So to do that manually, first consider any point and draw. A horizontal line and from there you draw an inclined line at an angle of 30 degrees with respect to VP. Then measure the distance from D to A and from D you cut an arc on that 30 degree line and get the points D and A. So you mark the point as D and A. Similarly measure the length from A to this point and from A you cut an arc on this. So since this line CE is perpendicular to AD so from this point, by using the protractor, you measure an angle of 90 degree with respect to AD and then draw a perpendicular line to that AD line. Then measure the length from this point to C by using the compass and also from this point to E, both will going to have equal length. And with this as center, cut an arc on this side to get this point C and also from this point, you cut an arc on this side to get the point E. Then mark this point as C and E. Similarly, measure the distance from D to this point and from D you cut an arc on this to get this point here. Since this point is perpendicular to AD, again from this point by using the protractor you measure an angle of 90 degree with respect to AD then draw a perpendicular line. Again with this point at center take the radius of uh, to F and also to B. Both will going to have equal distances. Then from this point, you cut an arc on this top side and also in the bottom side. So that you are going to get this point B and F. Then join, uh, mark the points as B and F. Then join A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, E to F and F to A with a dark line. So this is how we can reproduce the second position top view in the third position. Once you get this third position, now we have to write the front view for this. So to write the front view, Draw a horizontal projector from A dash and draw a vertical projector from A. Both will going to intersect at this point and you mark that point as A dash. Similarly, draw a horizontal projector from B dash and F dash. Draw a vertical projector from B and F. Both will going to intersect at B dash and F dash and you mark those points as A dash and then B dash and F dash. Similarly, draw a horizontal projector from C dash and A dash and draw a vertical projector from C and E to intersect at C dash and A dash and mark those two points as C dash and A dash. Similarly, draw a horizontal projector from D dash and draw a vertical projector from D. Both will going to intersect at this point and you mark that point as D dash. Then join A dash to B dash, B dash to C dash, C dash to D dash, D dash to E dash, E dash to F dash and F dash to A dash with a dark line. So this is how we will be able to solve this problem in a sketchbook and to analyze this so a hexagonal lamina of 25 mm side resting on one of its corners on hp such that the lamina makes an angle of 45 degrees with hp and the diagonal passing through the corner on which the lamina rests is in appears to be inclined to vp at 30 degrees so this will going to be the final solution and since it satisfies all the conditions which is given in the problem hence this will going to be the final solution